also have to worry about other players getting all up in your business, which is also another reason why you got to be very attentive. I just heard gunshots. I hope that's not at me. Oh, that actually sounds like it's very nearby. Hopefully these chickens don't rat me out because they are making quite a little bit of noise here on my behalf. Okay, well, I see him. Oh, there we go. We got a hit marker, baby. We are in combat. YOLO, I'm sending the avalanche. Yeep. Dog showed up and we are surviving, killing everything and collecting bounties in the brand spanking new Devil's Moon event that is going on. That's right, we're going to be getting into some PvPvE action in what is the biggest event known to hunt a showdown so far with new things to do such as collecting trapper souls, pledging to packs, and fire themed maps appearing periodically throughout the event. This player is going to unlock the story that concludes this year's Moon story, again being one of the biggest and longest events yet and now is also the best time to get in for new players as there is a sale going on from the 12th of December to the 5th of January for 60% off. Not only is the price super attractive with the sale going on right now, but this Devil's Moon event is even more rewarding the more you play it, making it perfect for new players to go ahead and hop on in or returning players to make their way back. So be sure to go to the link at the top of the description and check out Hunt and Showdown for yourselves as this Devil's Moon event is going on and it is going to be going on for eight weeks, giving you just plenty of time to get all of the rewards all the way from the 14th of December to the 15th of February 2023. There's a brand new story to unlock, which also wraps up the previous Moon series of events seen in Hunt this past year. And players can also earn event points throughout a variety of core gameplay activities, interacting with event clues or rifts, starting to banish a boss, extracting a bounty token, interacting with soul traps, destroying soul traps, or even looting enemy hunters. There's also weekly challenges going on where players can earn stars, which will in turn earn them event points, which is one of the best ways to progress in the event and not something that's been done in previous events and another incredible feature is packs which is brand new brought into this event ties into the storyline where players can actually pledge their hunters to a faction in order to pledge to a pack players have to earn pledge marks via earning event points looting their first hunter or banishing your first target in a match you can earn up to three pledge marks per game and carry a total of four you need all four pledge marks to deepen your pledge and receive the second trait of your pack each pack gives different advantages the Lunar Pact, for example, is more focused on health regeneration. The Infernal Pact is more focused on fireproofing. And the Grounded Pact turns off permadeath for your hunter as well as invisibility into AI. And to pledge to a pack, players can just make their way to a pledge post in the game and access it there. The event also brings with it the Inferno, which sets parts of the map literally on fire, meaning the players will have new ways of moving around the map and changing their strategy. And that's going to be featured periodically throughout the event. So keep an eye out. And on top of all this, there's a new Battle Pass going on. It's similar to the previous serpent moon event players will be able to unlock a story as they play through with 15 chapters and the most items ever that you unlock including brand new weapon charms weapons ammo blood bonds and a brand new hunter plus much much more so what are you waiting for make your way to the link at the very tippy top of the description and check out hunt showdown and i want to say huge thank you to hunt showdown for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into some high octane gameplay of ourselves in a, a, a map that is on fire. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into our hunt in none other than the namesake. A hunt is showdown where we are right now using our dark side to try and find where some of the nearest clues might be star. Why on earth do I need to find clues? I need to find clues because they are going to tell me and lead me in the direction of the big boss, which is one of the kind of like the main goals that we're going after. Primary method of kind of getting that guy out of here and escaping this place is actually killing killing a boss, banishing it, and escaping. Another way is actually killing someone who has actually just done that, because not only is Hunt Showdown a PvP, not only is it PvE, it is what some might consider PvP, VE, you know, we got a little bit of everything going on. We're not only do you have to worry about some of the zombie like creatures roaming about in special enemies, but on top of it all, you also have to worry about other players getting all up in your business, which is also another reason why you got to be very attentive. I just heard gunshots. I hope that's not at me. Oh, that actually sounds like it's very nearby. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Let's see if we can't like maybe, I don't know. Get up into like a good spot or something. Maybe try to see what the heck's going on. Someone is like literally right on the other side of here, dude. Oh, and that's the power of sound right there. Will I be able to capitalize? Now that's a different story. 
But unless I'm absolutely insane. Someone is very nearby. Hopefully these chickens don't rat me out. Because they are making quite a little bit of noise here on my behalf. Okay, well I see him. Oh, there we go. We got a hit marker, baby. We are in combat. I repeat, we're in combat. YOLO, I'm sending the avalanche. Yay! That's one of the new things that we got inside of the freaking DLC. We definitely just got hit marker. Let's freaking go. And I believe that whoever we're fighting is going to be on the other side of that fire. I don't know if they have a friend. I don't know if it's just me. I'm reloading this thing. The chickens are going absolutely bonkers right now. Ah! And I hear more gunfire. It may or may not be. Oh, yeah, that's in my direction. Good thing I backed up a little bit there. We also have a rifle over here we can switch to. A little bit slower firing. A little bit more accurate. A little bit more range to it. Gosh darn, I have no idea where this person is. Well, I have a general idea, but not an exact idea. That fire is still raging. Maybe we try to make like a little bit of push after this. I'm not entirely sure. I just know that he was in that corridor. Dude, we had to have done some good damage to him right there. I don't know. Let's try to go the long way around, maybe. See if we can't reposition. Get a better angle on this. Oh, he had the same idea. He had the exact same idea. No, 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 no. We need some help. We need some health immediately. Health the heck up, baby. We got health up. We got health up. Is he going to be pushing us? He's got to be pushing us after that, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Hold up. All right. We might be able to, like, peek him a little bit here and get a little... Okay. We've got ourselves in a quite the predicament, fellas. Okay, let's peek that. Maybe bait out a little shot here. There you go. We baited out the shot. Oh, thought I had a good line of sight on him. Well, all right. It's essentially just going to be us in a shooting contest at this point. We got this stupid horse over here doing horse things. Ah! Both of us missed. And yeah, I believe he does have a friend. Ah! Okay, we got a hit marker there. Why don't we go? Uh, I do still have, I believe, a little bit more health. Let's pop that. I hear the horse, so I think they're going to be pushing up right now. Maybe. Maybe that horse is usually a sound cue. So maybe they're trying to, like, get the flank on us over this way. That fire is still raging, so probably not, actually. I thought maybe that horse was a sound cue that they are making a push. Perhaps I was mistaken. All right, let's go back to our rifle over here. Oh, no, I forgot to reload. Yeah, you got to reload your guns freaking manually. Can't just let those, uh, you know, can't just rely on those reloading themselves. I'm still fully expecting them to freaking push or something here, man. Come on, come on, come on. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Boom, there we go. Big shot, big shot, big shot. This is a good gun we're rocking, man. We should be able to make a little bit of damage, yeah? Bop, another one bites the dust. Bite a nail, nail, nail. Come on, buddy. Come on, I know. There we go. We got another hit marker. How is this man still alive? We are dishing out some damage. Oh, the fire appears to be raging, though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pushing this guy, man. I'm pushing him. I got a nice pistol here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Run, baby. Run. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Ain't nowhere to run. Okay, maybe you do. Okay, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Star, goodness gracious. What are these beautiful weapons and loadout that you're using? You might be thinking to yourself after that insane battle. Well, they are actually from the new Frau Perk, the DLC that did drop to coincide with the new Devil's Moon update. Y'all can see a quick little recap popping up here on the screen actually right now where we are using one of the two variations of the new Legendary Hunter included in this DLC pack along with two legendary weapons known as the Midwinter Tusk in the unkempt and also legendary consumable in the form of the avalanche which was a frag bomb that we threw in the middle of that shootout so just a bit of a recap of the tools we were working with in case you were curious they're pretty good tools oh that was stressful all right well ladies and gentlemen warm welcome to hunt showdown we just got our hands into a little uh pvp action right there is this a is that just a zombie over there okay i don't i, I don't know if i was in a 2v1 or a 1v1 I, I i thought i maybe saw two people maybe i saw the zombie in the background I don't know. That was intense, though. Uh, I can't loot anything else from this guy. Did he have any sort of medical supplies? Uh, I might be able to just find, like, a med kit somewhere out and about in the map. I kind of would rather bank on that. What is this over here? We can crank up the generator. Don't really want to do that. Oh, we got some leeches from that slightly specialer zombie. I would rather not deal with you. All right. Let's try to get back onto the freaking clue. There might be some supplies for us over by where that clue is. Oh, let's go, dude. Healing kit right here. Desperate need of that right there. That fire is still raging, dude. Hot dog. All right, well, 
Um, I have no idea. I, I was in, I was, I think I was explaining things and then we just got ourselves into this predicament. But anyways, welcome back to HUD Showdown where things get intense. I lose my train of thought and we have a great time along the way. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, uh, what we're doing now is I'm trying to get that clue. What that clue's going to help us do is help us narrow down. Uh, hopefully I can find, okay. This is a ooh, little bit of ammo. I could definitely use some of that after that, uh, that, that extended little shootout we got ourselves into. Um, no, so what we're gonna wanna- Oh, the spider's being banished! Where's that guy being banished? Somewhere nearby? All the way over there. Okay, well, we're in the other sector, so anyway, someone either got really lucky and found the spider, or found all the clues that led to the spider, which is one of the two bosses that are, uh, whatchamacallit, on this given map at this point. Uh, so what happens is every time you find a clue, which you can use your dark sight over there, for example, boom, it's leading us to that room. Uh, that room is going to have inside of it some clues. Also want to just be quiet and listen every once in a while, you know, so in case we kind of... Those sound cues, man, they seriously are hype. Uh, anyways, clues like this, you can investigate them. Actually, while the Devil's Moon event is going on, this is one of the ways that you can actually uh, get points towards the event and whatnot. But every time you find a clue, uh, what it does is it narrows down the area of the map that the boss can possibly be in, which helps us ultimately track him down. Once we've uh, tracked out enough of the boss, we can engage into a battle with him. And then once we banish him, he drops, I believe it is like some sort of special token, I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, that we can then claim and you and grab that to escape the map or what we could do if we're feeling lucky is uh kill whoever woo! kill kill whoever banished him is there a zombie like right on our tail i think there is right yeah woo! get that guy here, dude kind of rude of you yeah also usually a good idea to do is melee to dispatch some like the weaker zombies the bullets so you want to save them for situations like what we just got ourselves into but uh i don't know man oh also yeah part of the uh devil's moon event sections of the map can just sometimes be on fire so uh yeah bring a fire extinguisher just be prepared. Be mentally prepared for that. <laughs> they can literally just be on fire, which does kind of make the gameplay a little bit more dynamic in areas that are oh, afflicted by it. I don't know where I'm getting shot at. I'm getting shot from somewhere, though, dude. I heard, I heard that bullet. I have no idea where it is. Hold up. I'm going to try to get into, like, a building with some cover. Ah, here. Okay, we are suffering heavy damage. We're suffering heavy damage. We got to heal. We got to heal. We got to heal. I cannot heal myself while poisoned. This is looking a little grim, fellas. This is not looking good. Come on. Let the poison fade. If we get pushed, it's over. Okay, hold up, hold up. I need this vitality shot. And, uh, I, yeah, this is just, I don't know. Do we make a break for it? Oh, they're shooting at me. Well, I know the general direction it was in. It was like over here. I have no idea where that person was though. Are they above me? There's no way they're above me, right? I, I literally have no idea where I'm getting shot from. All right, YOLO. Making a swim for it. Oh, okay. We're a little bit slow in this. I am, I am very bogged down. This was not a well thought out strategy. Tell, tell, tell my fiance I love her. Oh no. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, we made a break for it at like the perfect time. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, dude. I am. Oh, hello. Suspicious line of fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, and that's why you gotta be careful, even just traveling, you know, in between locations, and why you wanna use things like foliage and cover to your advantage, otherwise, someone else will use it to their advantage, and, uh, pay you a very unpleasant surprise. But anyway, that clue we collected earlier, as y'all saw over here in the map, okay, and that thing just got banished, so we kinda, like, wanna maybe hurry our way over there. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get there fast enough, which is kind of unfortunate, because if we were able to get there fast enough, you know, we would've been able to potentially, uh, also... Just keeping an eye on our back here. There's a zombie there. I don't know. He's just mindlessly roaming. Is that a person? It's more zombies. Yeah, just, just watching our back. We got ourselves in a bit of a predicament back there, you know? Uh, anyway, let's try not to anger the local wildlife here. And let's continue making our way over to where that person got banished. Uh, that one boss did. So maybe we could capitalize and, you know, find a straggler getting out of there. You can see that, you know, we're just getting notified that they picked up the bounties and they're going to be now attempting to escape the map. If we kill them, though, during their attempt at escape, we can pick up the bounty from their dead body and then escape the map with it. Instead of us having to do the heavy lifting of actually fighting, you know, the boss itself, which is a nifty little thing. And it kind of ultimately does evolve in how you play the game. 
Oh, hello. A lot of lightning. Yeah, it does definitely evolve how you play the game. So, as you know, we can kind of like really go hard on the PvE aspect side of things. You know, try to be the one ultimately taking down the boss and escaping. Uh, obviously, the fact that you can play this with a, a cooperative person as well. I'm just running solo dolo because uh, YOLO, baby. Or if you want to be kind of like a hunter lurking in the shadows trying to pick people off after they ultimately kind of do the heavy lifting for you. Or like me, we're just running around like a chicken with their head cut off uh, trying to get to the bottom of things. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're just going to want to be a little bit careful here. We are getting closer. Maybe you start listening to, towards like some sound cues and stuff like that. I am hearing noises that way. I don't know if that's people throwing explosives at each other or what exactly is going on. I'm just happy I escaped that one area with my life. Because things definitely were getting a little bit carried away. Okay, I definitely just alerted anybody nearby of my location. And I just gave off some fantastic sounds of the, you know, ravens and stuff like that. So, not my smartest play. And again, not exactly known for my smarts. So what am I really losing here? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe I'll have my pistol ready to go just in case we do end up in a uh, close quarter encounter. I'd have to be ready to go with something that's a little bit more automatic. It's not really automatic. It's still pretty semi-automatic, but you know what I'm saying. We got all these like various, you know, areas of interest and whatnot as well that we could make our way into, but I'm just not going to uh, right now. I do want to, you know, I really do want to investigate this area. And we do have lightning going that way, which I believe is, you know, that... <sighs> Something I want to investigate. We hold the dark site. It leads us to that direction, man. I believe that is going to be the location of one of those bounty holders. So we got a lot of foliage here. We might be able to, you know, use this to our advantage. How we looking? How we looking? They're looking over there. There might be an escape route somewhere over here, actually. That might be ultimately what we're about to fumble our way into. That does look to be like the edge of the map, so maybe. Just gotta be careful, man. But here's the thing, if they're in the middle of their escape, I also gotta hurry that they don't escape before I get there. Yeah, it's like right over there. A lot of lightning here. I'm drawn to this. We just don't want to get caught out, you know, without any cover. That could be bad. Oh, what is this? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I think I could pick that up. However, it is currently covered in fire, so I don't know if I want to do that. Instead, I kind of want to, like, go that way a little bit. Nah. I, yeah, that person literally just did what I was talking about. They extracted a bounty. And this person. Oh, the fire just went out. Let's go. Dude, here's one of the bounty tokens I was talking about. I don't know how this dude died, but I'll take that. Thank you very kindly. Okay, I got to find a way out of here, please, and thank you. I need an extraction point. Um, my dark sight boost is active, so I can see nearby hunters. Whenever, uh, uh, oh, whatchamacall. But now, I am internally panicking. I was not expecting to stumble across one of these tokens, but here we are! Didn't have to fight a single boss for this! But yeah, now we're trying to make our way towards that escape point. Probably the exact same point that that person just escaped from. And, uh, if we play our cards right, we'll be able to make our way out of here. Uh, with a fantastic success. Or... A disastrous disaster. What will it be? I don't know, because we are quite out in the open, ladies and gentlemen. So we got about 30 seconds here. And we got to be careful. We got to be a little bit careful. Our friends, our enemies, could be coming from any which direction. Which is always terrifying. Very much so. We're about halfway there. Come on, baby. Come on. No way. No way. We just made out like bandits. I ain't jinxing it. I ain't jinxing it. But, holy guacamole, let's activate our dark sight. That gave us like a quick little, you know, whoa! That told us for a second where everybody was, but we didn't even need that, baby! We made it out, let's go! And here we are at the end of our run with a little mission summary. 
Would you look at that, man? Plenty of experience, plenty of coin coming our way. Go ahead and give me some event points too while we're at it, baby. Can I get some of those? And we actually are leveling up our hunter as well as we are going with it, which you do love to see. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, we are leveling them up real freaking good. But yeah, again, just a reminder, you know, the, that, that token that was dropped was from defeating uh what you recall one of the bosses i believe from the summary screen it said that it was actually the spider boss that got defeated uh so those bosses can then be defeated in a pve aspect so you know if you play your cards right you can oh new item unlocked thank you very much if you play your cards right you can win a game without doing any pve or without doing any any pvp or doing both you know it ultimately does come down to you and the way that you do want to play it. And as y'all can see from just there, we did manage to grab a little bit of points, you know, about 46 or so towards the event as we try to claim some of the rewards that are available here, as y'all can see uh, throughout the Devil's Moon event that is in Deedly Do going on, including all the way at the very end, a pretty freaking cool looking hunter and a great weapon along with that taboo. But yeah, the way we played that was pretty much purely PVE, except for the one kind of clue that we got where we started narrowing down where the other boss on the map could have been. And then we could have gotten ourselves into a little bit of an extended pve boss battle again you can play solo or you can even usually the way that hunt showdown is played is with a duo as y'all can see over here you can even you know allow teams of three should you choose but uh you know that could have been played out in a variety of ways but we managed to somehow make it out in an epic pvp fashion that i was not expecting I'm pretty happy. I don't know about you guys. So yeah, essentially we were just able to capitalize on the PVE efforts of others. Because again, when someone does start, after someone does defeat the boss and start banishing them, that process takes some time and it does alert all players on the map of the location of that which is going on. You know, when you pick up a bounty, you can, you know, people are aware of your location. So, you know, there are these certain kind of like stages of the game where, you know, even if you are playing things PVE wise, you start to draw some heat and some attention your way. Today, I managed to be the attention that was drawn other people people's way but it could have definitely played out a little bit else and you know maybe after i picked up that bounty someone capitalized upon me and my known location but that's the beauty of hunt showdown and the beauty of the how many different ways there are to play so that's definitely something that y'all want to go ahead and do and check out from the link at the very tip of the top of the description go ahead and check out hunt showdown and be sure to start capitalizing upon the incredible new devil's moon event that is going to be going on for uh, about the next month and a half or so this thing's going to be going on for quite a hot minute and along with that it was a huge thank you to cry tech for sponsoring the video and a support of the channel but with that to do with that done ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that's going to start bringing that into this episode of hunt showdown thank you guys for holding for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya